Good morning, folks. We've got three science curveballs today in human history, climate, and cosmology. We've also got some fantastic eye candy with a tie to the disaster cycle, but we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. The last day on the sun was relatively quiet, didn't have much in the way of solar flares or eruptive activity. Sunspot number is on the lower side. They're mostly lacking complexity. What we do have, though, is a large number of plasma filaments. These thin ropes of plasma are the main eruption threat right now, and you can see them even better in 304 angstroms, how many there are and how spread around the Earth-facing half of the sun they are. Every one of those thin filaments presents a potential plasma eruption, and that's what we're watching today. Let's get some eye candy. There's been a massive undertaking to map the local bubble in pretty much every way imaginable. From the shape, to the dust features, to the chimney feature, and other bubbles and everything in between. The mapping of this feature has reached relatively epic proportions. Veteran observers, recall that while the mainstream astronomers claim that this is the result of an ancient supernova that preceded the sun, Perhaps a better explanation would be the recurring micronova events from the sun, as X-ray inflation of the bubble over time would push and shape the region, as astronomers know happens at other bubbles. Link to the new mapping paper, which has a link to this 3D interactive program, is below. Couple curveballs up next. First, we have a study identifying stone tools and other examples of early human advancement extending to over a million years ago, lengthening the time of this advancement by 300,000 years. The out of Africa hypothesis takes yet another hit here. Up next, it appears that the James Webb Space Telescope has confirmed some Hubble data on universe expansion. The problem is that this is the data that created the Hubble tension, and it means that the great cosmic scale mystery is still there, still unresolved, and they still need to get their heads right around the fabric of space. Last but not least, a genuine climate conundrum. They're finding geologic evidence that should be impossible given paleoclimate records of the world at that time. The fun thing is the only way to make the two align would be if this region of India was at a different latitude, like the earth shifted or something. I know, crazy, right? We greatly appreciate your support. We do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.